Hey guys, it's Jordan here, uh, wanting to reach out to you guys um, on a personal note. Um, there's a bunch of things that's been on my mind. Where am I gonna set this to where I won't fall? Oh, I think this is good. All right, hopefully you guys can kind of see me. Um, sorry, my head's kind of cut off there. Oh well, I'm gonna keep it like that because it's steady and I think I can directly talk to you this way and probably use my hands like this. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I need to I need to set the record straight. Um, I had this idea of quitting Twitch for a while. Um, like literally just 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 quitting it like quitting it all together uh but i had talks with a lot of people about this um my wife has definitely been a huge supporter of me trying to you know go far and possibly become partner with twitch but there's the, there's just been a lot of things lately that have kind of set me off the beaten path i guess you could, i guess you could say um, man, I really wish I didn't lose that script. I had, I had some written down. I was typing it all last night and I was reading through it. It sounded pretty good. I was ready to post it and then I lost it. It just deleted itself because there was errors. Um, I was trying to do one of those twit longer things because I was going to put it on Twitter and share it across, you know, share it everywhere. But, um, it didn't, it didn't work. And it sucks. Because I had a lot to say. I still have a lot to say. So anyway. For about a month now, I've been thinking about quitting Twitch. Um, for a number of reasons. Um, one of the main reasons was... Is basically... Because of every... Because of stuff that's gone on this last month. I have been so busy with work. I have... Uh, if you guys obviously don't know I have another job now but the hours are various so I have different days off a week but I'm also at the point right now besides that where my daughter my second child's about to be born here soon and I'm gonna need to devote my time and effort towards the child rather than streaming um I just know that once she comes, it's going to be very, very hard for me to try and continue streaming. Um, and, you know, I always tell myself that I want to start, try and stay consistent because I know if I'm able to stay consistent with streaming, more and more people will be able to find me and you know, help my channel grow, all that stuff. Um, you know, I've been, I've been streaming now for five years. Um, And there's been a lot of support from you guys. You know, I think I've gotten over a thousand followers. I've gotten past like 30 subs at one point. Um, but there are other channels out there, small channels such as myself, that have probably only been streaming for a few months, maybe only a couple years. And they're at the point where I'm at right now. And it's probably because... You know, because they're growing at a faster pace than I am, I'm starting to realize that I don't know if I have it in me to stream. Now, I know you guys hear that and you're like, oh, but you've tried so hard, all that stuff. Well, there's other people seemingly trying harder or maybe doing the same. But I think I know the key thing is, you know, to Twitch success is having an identity. I don't know if I have set an identity for my channel. I look at my, I look back at a lot of the, co the content that I've streamed compared to some of the other stuff that they, that other guys have been streaming. You know, a lot of the content that I've streamed is Nintendo. Um, now Nintendo on Twitch, it's, um, shall I say it doesn't really get much traction. Um, if you see a lot of Nintendo streams, more than likely you're seeing it for a few of the categories. Whether it be speed running, whether it would be high skills like challenge, like you see Mario Maker and their Kaizo challenge, or like special ROM hacks where it's Kaizo hacks, whatnot. Um, 
or you see more like public figures that you would see on YouTube um, or like the internet, um, like people off Twitter and stuff that would like review Nintendo games, try it out, already have a good fan base because of like YouTube or whatnot. Um, and that's about it. There aren't really that many newer Nintendo streams that are easily discoverable. You look at you look at Twitch, the Twitch catalog, you look at the top stream games, none of them are really Nintendo. The only time Nintendo really ever gets up there is when a new huge title gets released. And we've seen that with some of the recent titles the last three years, like Super Mario Odyssey, um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When those are new and relevant, yeah, they'll get up there, but then that trend quickly dies in a matter of weeks. And a lot of the stuff that I, I stream, sometimes I, I get with a new trend, but other times I just I just stream like the back catalog and no one really pays attention to that sometimes. And it's hard for anyone to kind of keep like traction of that. Now there are some games though, that like that I've streamed that does get traction because of the fact that it is more community involved. Um, that's the likes of, you know, games like Smash Bros, Mario Kart, um, even some other like third party games like the Jackbox Party Pack series that I've streamed before. Um, and I've uh, even going back to Nintendo, uh, I've streamed, you know, what got me started on Twitch was Super Mario Maker. Um, however, I have a hard time myself um, consistently streaming those games. I have a hard time because streaming those type of games on a consistent basis burns me out way too quickly. And, you know, what do I value most? Do I value trying to gain an audience or do I value wanting to stream the content that I want to stream? I've been looking at many different like how to grow your channel uh, videos. One of the one of the main things that um, one of the main things one of the repeating points that they say um, really helps is being yourself. I can't be myself when I stream consistently like Jackbox or Smash Bros. Because if I am in a mood where, oh, I'm forcing myself to do this, some people can tell. Some people can tell. Some people are happy that I'm streaming it. But in my mind and in my heart, it's like, why am I streaming this? I'm not having fun. And if I don't have fun, it will show. And it'll probably rub off the wrong way on you guys. And you guys won't want to like continue staying and all that stuff. I don't know. That's just that's just my thought process there. Point in taking one of the main things that I see a lot of you guys request me to continue playing is Jackbox. Jackbox is all good and fun, but it's very repetitive. It's a lot of the same content. It's a lot of the same games, but it's uh, I get bored of it too quickly. I know it brings in a lot of viewers, gives me a lot of followers. But when I'm at a point where I don't stream it consistently, those people that follow me for Jackbox, which is a lot of you guys, most of you guys end up leaving. Because I know what you guys want. I know what you guys want out of me, but it just doesn't make me happy. And I've tried so many different ways of trying to keep this stream entertaining, but I just, I haven't really pinpointed it. Especially in the five years that I've streamed. And it sometimes hurts for me to see other streamers I see that they're passionate in the games they play and they're able to keep an audience because they have an identity themselves. I've yet to find mine. But here's what I want as my own identity. I want to be a streamer that loves Nintendo. Passionate about games, not really into the whole speed running, not really into the whole, you know, playing with viewers thing. I love a lot of the just casual gameplay experiences. The only place you'll really ever find that type of content is on YouTube. 
It's hard to do that on Twitch, very hard. Obviously, unless it's a new release. But I can't really keep up with new releases because really, in reality, I have a life to live and I can't really just keep forcing myself to buy new games right on top of it, especially if I can't make the time to stream it in that timely matter. That's that's where my head's at. That's where, that's where I'm at as far as wanting to possibly quit Twitch, but I am telling myself that I don't think it's really time to quit it, but I think it's time for me to kind of slow down and reevaluate what I want to do. Um, point and take in last weekend was uh, 4th of July weekend, and I got out of town. Um, spent time with family, spent good time with family with my daughter, who's probably up right now because I'm talking. Hi, baby. You can go back to sleep though, okay? Okay. I knew that me talking would kind of wake her up a bit, but I need to, I need to get this out because right? otherwise I'm going to forget about it. But anyway, um, I need to slow down. Spending time with family last weekend had really opened my eyes to where happiness is right now in my life. And I see it in my wife too sometimes. She wants to support what I'm doing, but if I take too much of that precious time away from spending time with her and my kid, she gets a little anxious. She gets a little upset um, because she wants to spend that quality time. Family time's important in all aspects. But right now, Twitch is just a hobby, and I'm trying to force it like it's a job. I'm forcing it too hard, and it's actually taking a toll on me mentally. And I, I see it with my wife. She doesn't really want me to stream for a long period of time. She wants me to spend time with her and my daughter and I just sit there just continuously play video games it hurts me to see them not seeing me spend the quality time with them so it is essentially like me taking a break from Twitch but it also is possibly giving you guys the hint that I may possibly be done with Twitch. I don't know if I am. I want to continue to do streams, but my approach to them right now is not working. It's not at all. I've been at a standstill as far as follower count, viewership count, and there's no, there, there isn't any growth at all. Not really much of it. A lot of the things that I've tried to implement have worked for a little bit, but it died quickly. Like the wheel. Implementing more channel point rewards and stuff. But I feel like I'm taking a... I feel like I'm forcing a difficult approach. And obviously it's not working. Um... So I'm going to take some time off from streaming. Obviously, I'm not going to, I'm going to be, I'll, I'll stream when I can and when I, when my heart wants to. But right now, my heart wants me to slow down, reevaluate what I want to do with Twitch and see where it takes me. But what I wanted to really, really do, I don't think Twitch is the platform for it. So here is here is something that I uh, here's another point that I want to try and get across to you guys um, on what I want to do as far as being an entertainer. Um, I really want to get content out there for you guys to watch. But the but what I want to but what I want to um, what I want to show and what I want to play 
like I said, Twitch is not the platform. I actually feel like YouTube is. I've mentioned YouTube being one of the go-to places. If you want to search for good content, like if you want to search for a game that you want to kind of just watch someone play, you don't really find that live stream on Twitch. You will easily go to YouTube and search it up, and there are videos there. So I'm going to start taking a different approach. I'm going to actually venture back to YouTube for a bit because as far as my time management is concerned, I can easily record 30 minutes of content and then just upload to YouTube and I'll be happy with that. And if someone watches it, cool. If someone wants to share it, I'm all for it. But I feel like that's probably going to be the best way for me to find some sort of new audience that wants to help me grow. Um, because there's a lot of playthrough games that I want to play through and kind of like, as for myself, kind of document it and just put it up on the internet. Um, and I feel like YouTube's going to be the best bet for me going forward for a bit. If I do get back on a consistent, if I do go back into streaming consistently, you guys will know. But for now, I need to slow down. I need to think about what I want to do, and I'm going to take a different approach at what I want to do and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then that's it. You know, I'll just, uh, I'll just be a normal guy just playing video games on my own and you know, see where that takes me. Besides, if I ever want to play video games with someone, I can always teach my kids to do it. I can always teach my kids how to play video games and stuff, and we can play together that way. It's just Twitch. Twitch is really good at interacting with people everywhere in real time. I feel like if I want to interact with Twitch, I can go to other streamers. If I want to, if I want to play like different multiplayer games, I can go to other streams and see if I can play with them. Or I can, you know, go live and play like Mario Kart. Say, hey, I'm playing Mario Kart. If you want to play, join on. If you want to join along, cool. And most of the time, I'll usually get one or two people to join in. And that's that's where I, that's where I'm happy right there. Or if I play some Smash Bros online, just show that. And someone comes in, just like, hey, you want to battle? All right, sure, I'll do it. But I don't, I don't want to force myself to stream if it's not getting me anywhere. So um, I'm going to travel to YouTube for a bit, moving forward, playing through games that I want to play through, um, and see where that takes me. I hope you guys do come along, too. I will uh, link... Obviously, this is... What am I doing? This is on YouTube. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting this on Twitch. It's not going on Twitch. This is obviously a YouTube video you guys are watching. Um, so, if you are new to this YouTube page, you guys will start seeing more content on here of me actually having fun playing games. And you guys can inter interact me then. Interact with me then me and my speech problems okay um now speaking of youtube i am also going to do some other things too as far as um other content um but i'm going to post that in other video later on um but i have ideas of what i want to do um and ideas that were brought upon me that i want to try and tackle um and it's going to solely take place on youtube but that, more details on that will come later, at a later time, when the time's right. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to take a step back, away from live streaming, um, and go at my own pace. And when I'm ready to journey back to Twitch on a consistent basis, like I said, you guys will know. Um, I hope you guys understand where my head's at. Um, this obviously isn't goodbye. Um, it's see you later. Oh, and one other thing, too, I forget to mention. Um, 
as far as the Discord server, um, I'm gonna stop posting that, obviously after this video, uh, just cause this video is probably gonna be the last thing I post on the Discord. Um, but other than that, I, um, I won't make public posts on my Discord server. I'm not gonna shut it down. I'm gonna leave it open in case you guys want to somehow reach out to me later on just to see how I'm doing. Um, but I'm gonna kind of keep Discord quiet for a bit as I kind of focus on more myself now and where I want to go with life. I'm almost 30. Um, I mean, I feel like I've kind of jumped into the Twitch stream a little too late um, because a lot of people younger than me are, are obviously growing a lot faster don't have to worry about the trials and tribulations of raising a family and stuff. But yeah, that's where my head's at. I know, I, I don't mean to bring you guys down a little bit. Um, I know some of you guys will still stick around with me for a bit. Forever, who knows? I know there's probably one of you guys that will. Um... But uh, to the thousands of you that have stopped by the Twitch channel, to the hundreds of you tuning in every once in a while, and to many of you that have put forth the effort to support my content, I do want to thank you guys for all that you have shown me as far as your support's concerned. I want to thank you guys for being around it really it was great um i know i'm speaking as if it's the end but it's not it's really not but it's going to be probably a long time till i ever decide to do live streaming again um live streaming i feel takes way too much time away from reality whereas a simple me recording 30 minutes of content and putting it on the web I think will do me justice enough because then I can still make time for family so that's what I'm going to try and whether you guys are going to be with me or not it's totally on you um, but I'll still be around I'll be around other channels on Twitch um, so if you see me around just say hi um, but yeah other than that I think that's all I have to say I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Um, and thanks for being amazing. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.